Good afternoon. My name is Ayush. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Clairco. Clairco, the word is short for clean air company. We are one of the largest air purification companies in India and UAE. Uh, we're managing roughly 20 million square feet on clean air as a service. We started in 2018 with the aim to make wellness more affordable and so that largely people can use it. So in multiple buildings, multiple airports where all of us might have been to, we've been managing air quality there. So here we built multiple IoT devices that could measure air quality, that, had, that also had great filtration capabilities that would go inside the HVAC. So that's our background, that's what we've been doing for the last six years. We realized that what we're doing is great, but there's something more we can do. We all know that HVAC consumes around 60 to 70% of a building's energy consumption. Yeah. Can we make that existing old HVAC, which might not really be that smart, which is not really using a lot of data, can we make it smarter? Can we make it more efficient? That's been the focus. So we are, I'm going to explain how we are doing that by some of the things that we are, we are doing right now. We recently acquired this company called Sensiable. So Ashish and Akshay come from that. They've been in the smart building space for the last 15 years. Uh, they also sold their earlier company, Arestom, to RR Cables and CleanRay to Wipro. Uden and I actually are school friends. Uh, we are both Forbes 30 under 30. Uh, we've known each other since class five or so. And uh, so he's built multiple products at OYO, was one of the first 50 employees there. I, on the other hand, have built two companies which have gotten acquired for around 30, 35 million dollars. Uh, these are some of the awards that we've won um, consistently. Uh, we are, like, like I mentioned, we're a deep tech company. We have seven patents. None of the technologies that I'm going to talk about are as a system integrator. We've built everything in-house. These are some of the clients that we have across the country and in UAE now. What we're providing is pretty straightforward. We say we are providing energy efficiency as a service. We will come in, install our hardware at your premise without charging you for it. And whatever we help you save, we will charge you half of it. As simple as that. There's absolutely zero risk on the client side on this. And this has really helped us you know, get that adoption faster. So this is what we're doing. You genuinely have zero day ROI. You have IoT devices and the entire data in your palm of your hands. You can easily understand this, that energy efficiency is happening because of Clairco's intervention. Why? Because if the client needs to show, see it, we can switch off our systems for a week and they can see what is the delta because of our systems versus without our systems. I'm going to skip this and, and just talk about how our systems work. Existing air conditioners do not understand how many people are there in which corner. There's a possibility some of us here are feeling slightly cold right now. On the other hand, some of, some of us might be feeling warmer, right? The air conditioner has absolutely no way to understand if most of us are comfortable in this temperature or not. And the worst part, air conditioner does not know where you have higher occupancy, where you don't. AC chalte rata hai, koi baitha nahi hai wahan pe fir bhi. Ek aadmi hai, fir bhi entire building ka HVAC chalta rata hai. So this is the problem that we are trying to solve. What we do is that we install these occupancy sensors in every roughly 8 to 1000 square feet. These are infrared based occupancy sensor. We are the fifth company globally to build this technology. We've generated around 30 million images and trained our systems to understand how do we come from that image to this, to understanding exactly how many people are there. And the best part is these are in conjunction with the, with the uh, GDPR compliances. We do not know who that person is. We just know there are five people there. So there's no privacy law issues that, that our systems bring in. So I understand that there are seven people in this zone. Plus, I understand how hot or cold they're feeling because our bodies are emitting some amount of heat. I can understand that this person is feeling hot or this person is feeling cold. And if I average it out, I can understand what would be that temperature that would be comfortable to at least 80% of the people on that particular floor. Imagine a large tech park where you have, say, 500 people on a floor. So that, that's the kind of accuracy I can change that system to and, co and constantly change the temperature on a zone by zone level as well. This change of temperature saves around 30-35% of that HVAC's energy consumption. And again, going back to my point, we do not sell our hardware on day one. I charge my clients half of what I help them save. So this, this makes it a bit of a no-brainer on what we're building. So these are multiple AIs that we build. We don't have enough time to explain that, but I'll explain a couple of them. Two AIs that explain understanding occupancy, understanding what is the temperature that people will be comfortable in. Third, understanding and 
also predicting that it's going to rain around 4 o'clock today, that humidity is going to be X today. So based on those ambient conditions as well, we're changing the entire central air conditioner's setup real time. Even if it's a multi-tenanted building where I have a client who only has two floors in the 20 floor building, I can still manage multiple of these things. And I can work with the tenant, with the developer if required, or, or with anyone else. So because that's the kind of you know, uh, uh, optimization systems we can bring in. Uh, skipping this, this is the kind of dashboard that you can see in real time, what's happening with your system span India. A uh, couple of co-working companies we're working with Pan India, they're really appreciating this, real, this model because it's helping them, number one, visualize what's happening. They have absolutely no clarity on what's happening in my Bangalore property, number four. What's the kind of energy consumption that's happening, etc. What's the occupancy I have? Recently, we helped Access Bank understand that they do not need another floor in Noida. Because of our occupancy data, we were able to tell them that you already have excess space here. Uh, so you don't need a 20-seater room. Let's make five four-seater rooms and have smaller meeting rooms rather than this large room where you have two salespeople who are taking the calls the entire time and you're wasting that much space. So there are multiple use cases that our occupancy-based you know, uh, optimization system is working. These are the, how our systems work. Uh, recently, we installed at Bosch in Bangalore, we installed 3,000 sensors there. Uh, they are now basically standardizing the sensors globally. So across all Bosch campuses, we'll have Clairco sensors installed. This screen is what you know, uh, converted one of our largest uh, uh, HVAC company to invest in Clairco. So this, if you spend some time here, if you look at different cities we've installed in different HVAC age and with different kind of power density, those buildings had different levels of maturity. Some buildings were uh, using way more energy per square feet and the others were using lesser. Irrespective of this mixed bags of different kind of buildings, because every building is unique, we've been able to save substantial energy. So, uh, yes, sir, please. Go ahead. This is only two questions. Huh? One is uh, this is only applicable to commercial buildings, energy efficiency. That's correct. Yes. Number one. Number two, HVAC uh, limited only to HVAC and energy saving with HVAC. We can do HVAC, we can do lighting, and we can also do a couple of other predictions. And the third question is does it also support energy efficiency for solar backed? or hybrid back power, uh, powered buildings? Absolutely, sir. That also you will be able to monitor and give efficiency increase? Yes, sir. Thank you. What's next? Are you only going to restrict to air or is there anything else on your route? So this occupancy detection is helping us do a lot of things. Like I mentioned the Axis Bank example. We can help you understand that, you know, you need so many more washrooms based on this per, per capita. What's the kind of energy requirements we are going to have? What kind of furniture should we have? How many more meeting rooms should we have, etc.? So this is, this is taking us ahead. So recently we've signed an MOU with JLL where we are helping one of their large clients in understanding their, in managing their washroom. So we're helping them count how many people have used those washrooms. So they're basically planning their cleaning accordingly. So there are a lot of use cases that we have just on understanding occupancy. Energy efficiency was the first step, but there are many more things to do. So Ayush, does this work only in greenfield building or like you do retrofitting like let's say hardware is Siemens or some other company, yeah. right? So your solution integrates with the existing hardware or like you bring the hardware from your side and you'll replace the hardware? So Vivek, out of the 100 buildings that we have, 90 plus buildings are brownfield buildings. So it works with older buildings, any age, any HVAC, any OEM uh, and of course with newer buildings better as well. So in your business model, if let's say if you're not bringing the hardware, so you're charging for software as a service or? Uh, we would love to do that. But the problem is no one has these thermal sensors. It's extremely tough to build those algorithms which predicts and understands occupancy. Um, there are some US-based companies which have done really good uh, uh, image recognition-based occupancy detection, but they don't tell us what is the temperature that will be comfortable for you. Uh, no one globally has that and we have patent on it, international global patent. So it's going to be tough to rely on anyone else's hardware but open to if given a chance. But don't you think like it would be too capital intensive if you're going to put your own hardware and that's too without charging the client, right? Every, every project that you bring, you have to put money first, right? How do you, how are you solving for that? So we take uh, uh, green debt which is sub 10%. And because we are manufacturing our own hardware, uh, the costs are substantially in control. 
So we usually sign a five-year contract where we break even pretty quickly. Can't tell you exactly openly, but uh, we are fairly profitable that way. Almost in line with most SaaS companies globally.